Hey there, I'm all sweaty and gross today. I just finished a run and last week I talked to you about the three exercises you can do in three minutes. How did that go? Um, haven't heard anything back. People were saying they were trying it out uh, and wanted to incorporate it in their schedule. Now, you know by now I'm a triathlete and strength training is super important and so is flexibility. Uh, I know some of you or many of you may not be a triathlete, but it doesn't matter. What is important is that you're strength training and that you are stretching. We're all getting older, we're losing muscle mass and we're losing flexibility. Simple aging process. Not what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about, you have asked me, how the heck do you get all your strength and stretching in? Uh, here is my <laughs> secret. Um, twice a week. I focus one day more on stretching and Pilates and then the other day I focus more on weights and a little bit of Pilates. I don't take more than 20 minutes each time because what I do before is I run uh, or do my walk, whatever it is that day before uh, and then I add my strength training and my flexibility to that, to that day and depending on the day it may have to be 15 minutes because I am need to go shower, see clients, see you guys online, have things to do and life to live, right? And that's what you're saying. So today I want to share with you what I do to stay strong in my core, in my body, shoulders, hips. A triathlete needs to train or, or strengthen for three disciplines. And so do you. I don't want to hear, oh, Heike, I'm just walking. You need to have strong hips and a tight butt to get you moving forward and swinging those arms. You need upper body strength. So I don't want to hear that's not applicable to you. So what I want to do, I'm showing you an abbreviated version of how I strength train on the day where I do more weights. Uh, or yeah, let's say more weights or less Pilates. Pilates is weights too, but more dumbbells and more um, overall strength. I'm just blabbing along, but this is what I show you. Here's what I do. I do one set of each exercise and I do it 10 times or as in the plank, I just hold it for as long as I can. I am not going to bore you with all the, oh, let's wait till she gets to the next exercise. I'm showing you a quick and juicy workout that I do on the day when I run. So are you ready? I'm going to move you around here because I need to show you this. So here we go. You ready? I sure am because I need to stretch. I usually start out with a roll up and I'm not showing you modifications today. So just quick juicy. Ready? Go. So what I do is after I run, I roll back. I stretch my shoulders and here's my little ball and I roll up to stretch my toes or touch my toes or not doesn't matter and I'm keeping my shoulders down as I stretch my hamstrings I'm also working my core and I reach back so I usually do five to eight of those just to bring me back into alignment the next thing I do is I take uh, my dumbbells so I take my my dumbbell or actually one dumbbell let's take one and I work on my balance so I'm going to show you this sideways hopefully that comes out I'm standing on one leg, I take one dumbbell in my hand, I use it as a counterweight, and I'm lifting the back leg. Can you see that? Oh, look, here. I'm lifting the back leg, and I'm working on my balance. That's all I'm going to do for this exercise today, right? I'm just loading up my right glute, I'm firing up my right glute and my hamstring, and I work on, on balance. So I do 10 of those. Then, I go into, I have a Dyna band. So here, that's what a Dyna band looks like. It comes with handles, really fancy. And I hook it over my Cadillac. And then I do my arms nice and straight. And I do 10 presses. Actually, it's almost like a lat pull down. So I can stand balance on my feet. I press exhale as I push down. I'm firing my lats and my triceps. And I do 10 of those. And I follow this up immediately by 10 tricep presses. So I do 10 of those. Then I'm ready to move on. Next thing. Remember, time is money. 
Did I say that? Yes, I did. From here, it doesn't matter what size dumbbell, but it should be challenging. Now I'm leaving this up because I need this. So at this point, I'm doing what's called hammer curls with an overhead press, right? So here's the elbows close by your side. No swinging, controlling, no arching the back. I am a super stickler for form when it comes to anything I do in life and in fitness. So the weight should be heavy and, or light enough that you can push it overhead without arching your back or struggling too much. But again, not too many details. So from there, I go back to my, my, my band. I need to strengthen my shoulders for swimming. And one of my swim coaches showed me this exercise that is basically little circles that I do and we're reversing the circles uh -huh. as I go and down and I do 10 of those up and down and then I'm going the other way. So from here, I'm pulling my belly button in and I do circles. I'm engaging my core and if you don't know what that means, you ask me in the comments below and I will explain it. <laughs> And then you do the 10 circles. So I did my 10 circles. Now I'll take my Dyna band away. And today I decided that I wanted to do, I'm back, to do the plank in the end. So here's my plank. I know you can't see me at my head, but it doesn't matter. So here's the plank. Now you can do the plank on the knee, but here, <clears throat> I'm holding my plank for as long as I can. Ready? Then from here, I go back and I stretch my inner thighs because a lot of our swimming, biking, and running has all your work inner thigh. And so they need to stretch and I need to stretch up my back. So I'm adding that for the big finale. I also sneak a little bit of yoga and I hug my knee and I add rotation to release the glutes, but also to look in a different direction. Most of our exercises are all linear. So we're like whoop, going into this. And then I'll do the other side, of course, but I'm going to do this now and I'm not going to bore you, but I wanted to show you it is possible in just a few minutes to get stronger, to get healthier and to live better and more functional. I'm going to take you with me. It's like here, it's much fun, more fun to see me more. Um, so tell me if you have questions. I know this was a quickie rundown but I didn't want to bore you with the exercises, but strength training and flexibility is a must. You can't skimp on that, whether you are a triathlete or not, doesn't matter. So get with it, as I would say today, and let me know if you have questions, if you're not sure about some of the jargon that I may have used in this video, and let me know which one you pick. How can you fit it into your lifestyle? I'll see you next time. Ciao, vibes.